Now we have this question asked in J main exam. Question is let set x is this. Friends, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. The number of different ordered pairs of sets y and z. Here y and z are sets. We define number of different ordered pairs y z such that y is subset or equal to x, z is subset or equal to x, and y intersection z is null set. Let me see here set x is universal set and y and z are subsets of set x. And y and z sets are disjoint. Unka jo intersection hai wo null set hai. So let's put this uh, in the form of Venn diagram. We have here universal set x. Y and z are subsets of set x. So we put sets y and z like this. Here y and z sets are disjoint. Unka jo intersection hai wo null set hai. So we have this Venn diagram. Okay. We have to find number of ways we can form uh, this two sets y and z. We have to find ordered pairs of sets y and z. How can we do this question using the concept of distribution? Now I pick first element of the set element 1. Where I can put this element uh, in this Venn diagram? Either I put in set y or set z or I put here in set x but uh, uh, not in set y and set z. Okay. That means for this element of set, this element of uh, set x, I have three options. I have three options in terms of uh, three places. Ek place y set hai, dusra place z set hai, tisra place ye outer uh, place hai. Thik hai. That means this element has three options. Now I pick element 2. Okay. For this element also, I have three options. Either I put in set y or in set z or uh, in this region outside set uh, outside sets y and z. So here I have three options. For each element, I have three options. Okay. So total number of options is. 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 and this is 3 power 5. So total number of ordered pairs is 3 power 5. Here this uh, word is important ordered pairs. Okay. It's got a lot of importance. In some question mein ye bhi kaha jata hai, unordered pairs. Sometimes we may have to find number of unordered pairs but here we have ordered pairs. The logic behind this is that sometimes we have elements 1 and 2 in set Y, against it we have elements 3 and 4 in set Z and sometimes we have elements 3 and 4 in set Y and elements 1 and 2 in uh, 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 set Z. Okay. Now these two cases are different, these two possibilities are different. The reason is we have to find number of ordered pairs okay here in ordered pairs it does matter which set is getting uh, uh, which elements okay yahan pe y mein elements 1 2 hai yahan pe 3 4 hai y mein yahan pe elements 3 4 yahan pe 1 2 hai ye dono jo uh, cases hai wo kya honge alag alag honge kyunki ye matter karta hai ki first set mein kaun se elements aa rahe hain second set mein kaun se elements aa rahe hain which elements are there in first set and which elements are there in second set because here we are finding ordered pairs. Here we have to find ordered pairs. Okay. So answer is here 3 power 5. Now suppose we want to find a number of different unordered pairs of sets y and z which are disjoint. This question was asked in J advanced. Now total number of uh, ordered pairs is 3 power 5. In this 3 power 5 number of cases, we have one case in which sets y and z are null set. 
Excluding this case, we have 3 power 5 minus 1 ordered pairs. Okay. Now, we have to find number of unordered pairs. Kaise calculate karenge? Excluding this case, when y and z are null set, we have exactly 3 power 5 minus 1 upon 2 pairs of subsets y and z. This may a pair of sets y and z ye honge. Chike? Set y and z may elements 1, 2 hai. Set z may elements 3 and 4 hai. Set y may elements 3 and 4. Set z may elements 1 and 2 hai. This is one pair. Okay. We may have like this also. Here we have 1. Here we have uh, uh, 3, 4 and uh, 5. Here we have 3, 4 and 5 and here we have 1. We have one more pair. That means uh, in 3 power 5 minus 1, we have 3 power 5 minus 1 upon 2 pairs of uh, sets y and z. But in case of unordered pairs, uh, these two cases are same, these two cases are same. Okay, So, number of unordered pairs will be this plus 1, plus 1 for uh, this case when sets y and z are null set. So, we have number of unordered pairs 3 power 5 plus 1 upon 2. I hope you have to understand Ordered pairs ke case mein, ye dono cases different hai. Unordered pairs ke cases mein, ye dono cases same hai. Thik hai? Humne kya kiya? Empty set wala option jo hai, yahan se minus kar liya. Now, here we have even number of uh, ordered pairs excluding this case. Then we are dividing by 2 because uh, in unordered pairs order is not considered. Yahan pe order consider ho raha hai. Okay. Set y mein ye elements hai, set z mein ye elements hai, set y mein ye elements hai, set z mein ye elements hai. Order consider ho raha hai. But in case of unordered pairs, order is not considered. So, we are dividing by 2 and then adding 1 because we have to consider this case. Okay. So, we have 3 power 5 plus 1 upon 2 unordered pairs. So, dekho, ye words kitne important hote hain. Agar ab isko dhyan se nahi padhenge, to answer galat ho sakta hai.